Lando materials. What are Lando materials? Lando materials refer to the materials with at least one dimension d, where d is longer than one nanometer and shorter than one hundred nanometer. A material in nanoscales can exist in the following forms. First, Lando wires. Lando wires are extremely thin wires with diameter of the order of a few nanometers. Examples of Lando wires are zinc oxide Lando wire. The use of zinc oxide Lando wires is to develop a solar cell by using graphene coat with zinc oxide Lando wires. In this case, the efficiency of the solar cells will be increased. The second form is Lando tubes. Lando tube is a tube-shaped material having a diameter measuring on the nanometer scale. Examples of Lando tubes is carbon Lando tubes. Carbon Lando tubes is a miniature which is 10,000 times thinner than human hair. Hollow cylindrical carbon structure that has hexagonal graphite molecules attached at the edge. The use of carbon nanotubes first since carbon nanotubes are stronger than steels. They are used in producing rackets such as badminton rackets or tennis racket. Second, since carbon nanotubes has low electrical resistance, therefore it has good conductor of electricity. By using silicon coat carbon nanotubes in anodes for lithium ion batteries can increase the energy stored by the battery. The last form is Lando particles. Lando particles are particles with at least one dimension less than 100 nanometer. Examples of Lando particles are Lando scales, fluorescein, carbon 60, gold particles, and titanium oxides. Use of Lando particles is due to its color effects. Lando scales, titanium oxides, are transparent. and used as sunscreen on human faces. And gold Lando particles appear red to black in color in the solution. Note that in both sides, that means in large scale, titanium oxide is white color instead of transparent and gold is yellow color instead of red. The physical properties of Lando materials first is optical properties. Change in color. Lando scale gold is red. Change in the ability of refraction. In nanoscale, 
Lennox Gill's titanium oxide is used in sunscreen, which is transparent. Next, mechanical properties. Carbon nanotubes are stronger, stiffer, and have greater strength than steel. Therefore, carbon nanotubes are used in rackets, bicycles, and motor vehicles to make it stronger, stiffer, and have greater strength. Next, electrical properties. Carbon nanotubes have extremely low electrical resistance. Therefore, they can be used in a circuit to increase the electrical conductivity. Why the physical properties of a substance in bulk size and nanoscale size are completely different? There are two reasons. First, it's due to the quantum effect. In nano scale, materials obey quantum theory, and the size of nano materials is comparable to the Borys wavelength. The second reason is that in nano scale, the ratio of the surface area to the volume. Of the nano materials increase significantly. Since surface atoms are more reactive, the physical properties of the substance will change accordingly. Example one. Consider a substance has the shape of a cube of size two cm. Part A. Find the surface area to volume ratio. The surface area A equal to six times square of two, equal to twenty-four cm square. The volume V equal to cube of three, equal to x cm cube. Therefore. The surface area to volume ratio A over V equal to twenty four over X, which is three. Part B. If the cube is cut into small cubes of size one cm, find the new surface area to volume ratio. The volume of each small cube equal to one cm cube. Therefore, they are all together n small cube with n equal to h over one, which is h. Therefore. There are n, which is x smaller cubes. The surface area of each small cube is equal to six times square of one, which is six cm square. Therefore, the new surface area to volume ratio is equal to. A one over V one equal to six over one equal to six. Let's see the steps to find the new surface area to volume ratio. When a large cube is cut into smaller cubes, first step, you find the side length A of each smaller cube. Second, find the volumes v pi and surface area a pi of each smaller cube, with a pi 
equal to 6 times square of A because there are 6 faces and V pi equal to cube of A the last step to find the surface area to volume ratio by the formula A pi over V pi which is 6 A square over A cube equal to 6 over A Let's examine what is lotus effect The surface of lotus leaf consists of tidy pump with waxy crystals in nanoscales this makes the leaf surface water wheel pairing when water droplets rolls down along the surface the dirt is carried away by the water molecules. Hence, the lotus performs self-cleansing effect. Let's see some applications of Lambda technology. The first is health, care, and environment. The examples is the drugs and delivery devices. Lando particles of the size of molecules are used to deliver drugs directly to disease the cells in the body. The second is chemical sensor. The carbon nanotubes Zinc oxide nanowires are used as sensors to detect very small amount of chemical vapors. Another example is to use in clean water and clean air. Nanoparticles can be used to convert the contaminating chemicals from groundwater through a chemical reaction. To make it harmless. Also, the catalysts made from nanoparticles have a greater surface area to react with the vapors escaping from cars and transform the vapors into harmless gas. Let's see how nanomaterials apply in nanotechnologies. The first example is conductive materials. For Lando tubes, can increase the electrical conductivity of the circuit and reduce the power consumption. The second example is used in stain resistance fibers. Similar to lotus effect, Lando particles coat on fibers enabled the dirt on the fibers to be removed by water. The next application of nanomaterials is antibacterial. Nanoparticles of zinc and silver possesses greater antibacterial properties since they reduce bacterial activity. Another example is used nanomaterial in the odorizing nanoplane. The magic silver nanoparticles performs the odorization functions by removing cations in the air. Another example is 
detoxitating nanoplane. Nanoparticles can remove the toxic heavy metal such as mercury and lead in our body. Another field of application of nanotechnology is used in information technology. Nanomaterial can produce better storage and computation power. A. Silicon nanocrystals are used to replace continuous silicon film in making fresh memory. B. Nanotubes or nanos wires are used in memory system. C. Nanotubes are used in magnetic realm. Let's see the potential hazard of nanoparticles. First, nanomaterials are highly chemical reactive. Therefore, they will damage the cells of the organs and making DNA mutation. Second, nanomaterials are extremely small, of the size of one nanometer. That they are highly penetrating. They may enter our body through the skin or during breathing. Also, nanomaterials may contaminate our environment such as they may contaminate air, the water, and the food.